everybody. This is that RC channel NC. My name is Dan. Welcome to the channel. Today is the day. Starting our little endeavor here with our F35 Lightning. This is an F35C. So apparently this one has the wider, the wider wings. So I fit up Hobby Lobby and I got this five millimeter foam board here. And I've started cutting out bits and pieces these are the the wings here, the lower wings, and that's the paper I'd trim off of there. And I'm just kind of sitting here and cutting out parts of the nose. And um, you can get these plans off of paperreplica.com, and he's got a YouTube channel, and inside his channel he's got the downloadable link and what you get is you get your cover sheet and you get 29 or 27 or 29 pages of all these templates that you can cut out and that will pretty much allow you to build this this jet here on mine i'm going to do mine a little bit different it shows three different sections along here for the fuselage you can't tell because he's, you know, filled it in and glued it on the picture, but and the directions, it shows it in three different sections. I'm going to do mine in one section just to make it sturdier. And I do plan on turning this into a VTOL unit at some point, but I'm still kind of ironing out that and seeing what the budget looks like because honestly, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> Um, that's something I'm going to have fun with and I'm going to do it to where I can upgrade it at later dates. So in the plans, he's got the, the EDF way the heck back here. I'm putting mine forward and I'm putting my batteries kind of along this area here where the center of gravity is. And um, that's gonna really help balance the plane. So this is gonna be a multi-part build. I'm gonna do some more cutting here and I'll check back with you in a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm back after several hours of burning my hand with a hot glue gun. I uh, got the all the end sections or the nose sections here glued and um, Looking kind of blocky, but that's fine. You know, we're going to trim all the leftover glue off. This eventually is going to get vinyl wrapped and painted. Probably just vinyl wrapped. And um, kind of gives you a good idea of how the plane is going to look. I'm going to match this up to here. And this right here is going to match up like that. And kind of go along the length of the body here. So... Try to get a better, accurate description here. So you can see all the pieces, parts I got cut over there. And I had to cut these all in one piece, but I marked them out in case I have to score them and bend them and do what I have to I do. But anyways, making progress. I haven't done the canopy yet. Might do that tomorrow or Saturday or whenever. Don't forget, Sunday is the race day. So, hope you guys tune in for that. And uh, I'm really excited to do this plane. This is, you know, this has been on my bucket list of things I've wanted to do. And um, this is, again, this is not going to be the VTOL one. This is just a basic, I guess, A, or as the plans call it, a C. So it may not look like much now, but it's coming along, and I like it. So anyways, this is going to conclude part one. Still got a lot of stuff to cut out. My sheet pile has gotten smaller, but it's not all the way down. Uh, like I said, the next thing I'm going to do is probably the canopy and the nose. Uh, the little template that it gave me, it is way too small. I'm thinking for now on, I'm going to start sanding the edges 
kind of shrinking it down some and kind of test fitting things. But all in all, I mean, it doesn't look too out of proportion or anything. And like I said, I'm going to probably vinyl wrap it once it's all done and sanded down and whatnot. This is paper backed five millimeter foam that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And yeah, this is the start of something great. And I hope to see you guys on the next video.